All right, guys. So we're going to go live here in a couple of minutes. It's like a really late night stream. Um, I'm going to do, I'm hopefully going to hit up to level nine. This is going to be really weird for me. I, <laughs> it's, it's really difficult thinking about doing a game that is completely free to play. So I'm going to wait for the um, server announcements to go out. So I am starting, I'm going to start this account for free to play players just to kind of show a lot of people how they, how they can really progress their game on a free to play level. And I think it's really important to really talk about crew and chips from a free to play perspective, because I think it's incredibly different from a spending perspective as some people have noted. So I'm just going to wait for, I'm going to probably give it about three more minutes and then I will be right back. <laughs> I I haven't really been sleeping that well during the lockdown. I have really random sleep patterns, nuclear. I typically like to take a nap after work so that I can get up and like do grinding and start Star Trek Fleet Command when no one's on. That's like the best time for me to be, be on the game because I don't have to deal with anyone's stupidity. Okay, so um, I'll give it one more minute. As we can see here, we're getting an offer on a brand new account for a free unlock for a Scotty. So Mark, this is, this is for brand new players, this offer right here. This is one of their enticements. <laughs> <laughs> nuclear yeah it's 1 a.m here um this this is what i'm assuming to be an offer for for the new players scotty free unlock make any purchase within your first seven days to receive a full officer unlock well unfortunately that's not what we're going to be doing here so i already started this account and i'm not even going to read those messages and I really want to show you guys this server that I'm on. It's ridiculous. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Um, I got booted from my alliance. <laughs> I joined this like really low level alliance and I got booted from it. Well, that's rude. <laughs> so, and I, and I think I actually said something like, what server is this? So let's just go to look at the leaderboards here. Wow. The top alliance has a level 18 leader. So let's go ahead and look at the top power player on here. Hey, John, how's it going? So the top power player on this server is level 24. So if Scopely says anything about server mergers or anything to that effect, it's pretty apparent to me they're, they're starting up brand new servers for a lot of players. And <laughs> it must be prime time for Sydney. It must be like, what? What time is it in Sydney right now? Like 5 p.m. or something? That's what I'm assuming by every everyone being from Sydney so far. Um, <laughs> but 
let me just go back here. So I'm probably gonna try to transfer over to another server. I might stay on this server. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. Hey Mark, how's it going? So 132, I was actually thinking about transferring over to 32, but um, because I have some friends over there and I used to play with them a long time ago, but um haven't played with them in quite some time. Mark nailed it. 5 p.m. of course. <laughs> yeah, it is 1 a.m. here in Minneapolis where I am. So let's let's I just want to look at this alliance or this uh, galaxy chat for all the noobs. Just for quick reference, if you guys had somebody if you guys have somebody, if there's an alliance that has a public setting, just join the alliance and then it'll show you where all your people are in alliance. I think he's saying, yeah, if your alliance is public, people can jump in and look at all your base locations. I'm not even sure what server this is. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys here um, for the free to play players who are just starting an account that will be watching this video probably in the next six months or so. Very first thing you're going to get is a server transfer token. The server transfer token can be used up until level 12. I think you have to use it either before before or at level 12, and you cannot use it before. So that's something really important to remember. So if you do want to play with your friends, make sure you know, know what on so that you can transfer over to that server. Some servers are full, so you cannot transfer into them. And that's typically the issue with a lot of players is their friends are on um, full servers, so they can't transfer into it. So we're, we're going to take a look at that here in just a second. So starting out, you're going to get the 10 minute chest and the four hour chest. And that is, of course, going to evolve as you level up. And I'm really kind of curious because this just looks so basic from what i'm what's the seven day reward pack oh that must be for loyalty is it wow <laughs> wow that uh that is uh, a whole lot of nothing in that pack so and the packs we can't see, which is totally fine. Have you sent in a ticket to customer support, Mark? I'm assuming you have. Okay, let's collect this little bit of par. And plenty of tickets have you have you tagged um djs on the official scopely discord or in his discord he seems to be running a lot of the infer information it's it's really weird the, the official scopely discord seems to be in quite disarray um, so DJs is one of the Scopely's um, content creator. He does a lot of responding on the official Star Trek Fleet Command Discord. And so I would, I would, you know, you can just do an at in there and do at DJZ, DJZ. And his, uh, his name should come up. It's all in purple. Um, he he seems like a really nice guy. I have never talked to him personally. He does seem to be really a good advocate for the player. So I would talk and, and see if you can private message him and see if he can put kind of that push on Scopely to do something about that because it shouldn't be it shouldn't it shouldn't be taking several tickets. It should be one ticket and, and it's resolved. There, there's no reason why why that should be happening. So um okay so let's go over here we got to do some missions 
And actually what I'm going to try to do first is see what I need to level up my ops. Let's do that. Hey, Gunny. How's it going? Ooh, six minutes for an ops upgrade. Oh, man. That's rough. I think it was for ops 40 for me on my main account. I think it was like 397 days or something. It was so... <laughs> it was so completely ridiculous. And... I'm just going to go and hop into one of these alliances. Maybe maybe the highest level, this level 11, the Solus. Just to get some help requests. Okay. So, waiting for that. That was weird that... It's not letting me send a help request to this new alliance, but oh well, it's almost done. So as you're progressing through the game, I just set up a new game on my tablet and my main account is on my phone. So that's all I did. And it threw me on some random server. Um, I changed, I have like three emails on my Google. So I changed the settings on Google Play to an alternate email. And that's kind of how everything is changed in there. And that's what I did. It was pretty simple. So as you're progressing through the game, when you're when you're beginning to do your levels, you can do your missions. You can definitely do your missions. And that will probably help you get started with a lot of your resources. However, what I would do is just focus on these things. What is your ops going to need to get leveled up? Because everything is level locked in this game. You have to be a certain level to get access to certain things. So that's what I would always uh, encourage people to focus on in the beginning. Now, there are certain levels that you definitely want to stop at. You definitely want... It used to be level 9. I'm not sure if level 9 is, a, is such a big issue anymore because it was... When you pushed ahead to level nine, then you could engage in PVP. And then level 14, of course, going into 15 is when your base can get raided. Level 19 to 20 is kind of moving up to that G3 part. Holy smokes, I got 15 requests. These guys, these guys are lively on here. Okay, so while that's happening there, I'm going to go do this mission with my awesome Rialta. I'm going to move this right over here. I think I only got, yeah, one officer, I want to say. Yeah. <laughs> um, and... So that Sulu, I've never used in the game. There are some Starfleet cadets that are really good in the game. Sulu is not one of them. So I would not invest any kind of materials in him whatsoever. Oh, it's so awesome watching this combat. Oh, my God. Okay. He was no match for your Rialta yet because he was super weak. Return to the station. So... He's going to go back up there. And. Do, do, do. Okay. I never really read it. At all. So I'm going to collect that 40 par steel. I think in the beginning, the one thing that you do have to be concerned about is your warp range. You can, can only go so far as you have to start leveling up your ships a little bit by little bit. Uh, 
Okay, let's see what else we can do here. All right, so that's taken care of. Go destroy. Man, I wish the game was this smooth. This is like making the game look like so smooth. You're always doing something. It's always fun. Man, does this taper off real quick? <laughs> and don't get me wrong. There's, there's a lot of stuff to do, but it is definitely a huge grind. So hopefully you like that sort of thing. And as a free-to-play player, that's really how you're going to get a lot of anything you need, is you're going to have to grind really hard because you're not spending money on it. Other players are spending money on it. And actually, there's a really good relationship between the people who spend money and the people who don't spend money. The people who spend money are, are constantly pushing the content up, and the people who aren't spending money are basically feeding those players with resources because they tend to get uh, rated a lot more. They tend to have not as strong ships, things like that. Let's see. How much is this? Ooh, twelve fifty. So it is it is definitely a a very good symbiotic relationship between players who spend and players who don't spend. I know a lot of people have, you know, a lot of strong feelings for one or the other. And I don't think one or the other is necessarily a bad thing. It's just definitely two different kinds of play styles. See, I'm not even really looking. This is, right now, there is there's nothing that you have to be really too concerned with because I'm really just focusing on what my operations is saying I have to do. That's what I'm building here. You do eventually want to look at your resource spend, but, you know, until you get to, like, level 35, the game actually balances it, it out pretty well. All right, so now we got 15 minutes on that ups upgrade. So hopefully we can get some. Oh, we're getting a lot of missions done here. Starting to get collect that tritanium. Wow. That was a lot missions we just auto completed and actually while i'm here i can show you guys how you would okay so right now the universe tab we can see that we are on server 61 which is we're in cardassia cardassia sucks i hate cardassia um Let's just go ahead and take a look. I could go I could go to my main server, which is server 12. There's no way in heck I want to go to server 12 because it's boring. Uh, <laughs> and server 32 is unavailable. I do know some people on server 34. Um I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, if you if you tell me if you tell me which server you on and it's the most popular server in the comments, I'll go ahead and transfer over there so you guys can can raid me because I I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be that heavily shielded all the time. So um, put that down in the comments and and I will definitely transfer over to some random server. Um, this one is uh this one's pretty quiet so. Um, something something a little bit more lively.
and I did show you my player page there. If you wanna, if you wanna take my player game ID and, and steal this free to play account, by all means, go ahead. Um, I won't be too concerned about it. So Jack and Adam had a question. So Jack says, I heard that um, 11 and 12 are merging. I, I thought it was 12 and 19. I could be wrong on that, though. Um, I do know two servers are merging. That I do know. And um, it'll, be, it'll be really interesting to kind of see. Now, just not to answer... Not not to, like, get off topic with the questions, but right here, this is a really good mission because Bones as a Starfleet um, train... I forget what this class is called. Starfleet Cadets. Bones is actually a really good officer. He's actually an officer I, I use at level 40 for some NPC setups, for some backups. So um, until you get uh, Pike and Moreau, he's actually a really good setup with Uhura. So I'm going to go ahead and get him. All right, and I'm going back to my, my base right there. And there's another, there was another question um, I did miss. I, I apologize about that. If you want to post that question again, I can answer that for you. So now it wants me to build the Orion Corvettes. All right, there's three shards. And we're going to repair that. Adam says, what ships are you going to skip? I, I would say join us on the founders, but three years in, we're still segregated. <laughs> yeah, I would love to join Amergen on the founders. I think that would be a, a blast just to kind of see the camaraderie. Um, and Adam, to answer your question, which ship am I going to get? You know, it's it's really the Saladin. The Saladin is the first ship you want to get. Um I actually was made a video and I haven't posted it yet. It's about free to play players on and what to focus on in this event store. Um, but really those NAR especially is incredibly important for your faction game. I can't really urge or stress that enough because I see so many people not working on the Vidar and that is the biggest mistake any person who doesn't want to spend buckets of money on this game can make. It's it's in so incredibly useful through, I mean, I have people who are level 50 who use the Vidar and do their, their Borg dailies because of the amount of faction credits they get from their max Vidar. And I see a lot of people get really impatient with the Vidar and they start refining Borg probes for faction credits when it's only tier seven. I'm like, no, do not. Do not start getting faction credits with your Vidar until it is fully maxed. But, you know, that's another tangent. But I would go with the... The, the nanoprobes are definitely tough to farm. If you're using a good crew setup jack, like I use 5 of 10, Chen and Tilan. That one's really good because 5 of 10 will pick up extra Borg probes because of her officer ability. Or you can use Pike Moreau Tilan, Pike Moreau Chen. Um, you can use uh, Uhura. Uh, no, let me let me be very careful of which Uhura I say. Starfleet Cadet Uhura, Starfleet Cadet Bones, and and Tilan or Chen. So there's so many different makeups that you can use. I have a tier. I've tiered mine up totally free. I bought my Vidar, but I tiered it up totally free. And I think it's like 900K now, but it's only like, I want to say tier seven. And I hit 33s all the time, and I get 130,000 board probes from that. Hey, Sionica, you are late. <laughs> I'm actually late. This is way past my bedtime, but I wanted to get this done today. So, um, and Sionica, your server is full. It's, it's just incredibly popular. Everybody just wants to play with you. And that's how, that's, that sounds incredibly inappropriate. <laughs> oh, I, got, I know. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get this done. 
and it was just like, I mean, I mean, once you get to know me, you, you know, you know how like random I am and Sionica and I were literally just talking about stuff in my, my discord. And, uh, I was like, I'm going to go do this. And you mean tell her, uh, <laughs> so I do apologize. All right. So for this mission right here, definitely going to focus on cadet McCoy, cadet McCoy. Like I said, he is incredibly useful for a long time. I think it said, I think it said level three. And like I said, I I'm, I'm a space cadet when I do this. So you'll have to let me know. Um, all right. So we got that done. And by the way, DJs was talking about people who were fed up with faction hunts because between the last arc, there was four in a row. And I'm like, how can anyone possibly be fed up with faction hunt? It is literally giving you the best stuff possible. I don't care how exhausting faction hunt is. It's free crew XP faction credits, ultra recruit shards. I mean, it is like literally everything you need for the game. <laughs> I don't understand that. The grind, the grind is long. I mean, th that's granted. I but I would rather have like thirty days of faction hunts than not. All right. I say that now, but it would probably be really exhausting. So we're still doing this, these missions. Let's go into the base and um, see what else we need. Oh, we're already level five. Nice. Dry dot. <laughs> All right, so this is some research. We're getting our second dock here. Eventually. Yeah, Sionica, that's a really good point. With, with So she has a Max Vidar, so she's getting 600 because she has the uh, free Borg Prime that they gave out to everyone. And um, if you take 600 times 30, that's 18,000 faction credits per faction if you have enough Borg probes. Oh, crap. See? Told you I was a space cadet. What am I doing here? Here we go. Oh, okay. So maybe we need to do a mission. I think that's what somebody was talking about is. Because they were talking about not having enough dilithium. So I'm curious if that dilithium is going to find its way to us or if we're going to have to go out and look for some hostiles to kill or to mine it. The lithium mining does take super long. They have definitely increased a lot of the dilithium in the game.
I mean, I have like 200 million to lithium in my, my main account. And for a while there, I was really struggling. Yeah, Sionica, I, I am struggling a lot with mining at level 40. The 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 dark space mining, the ISO, the G3, um, the Vidar, the Franklin, um, doing my Stella for my for my daily refines for my rogue event. I mean, it's so it's just so much. And they really word it with you don't actually have to do it but if you don't you're really losing out on a lot of things that's that's why i loved the last arcs ticketed events they gave the much needed resources for those higher levels and for players that were at lower levels who needed like seven million to lithium a day they got it and then they changed it and they screwed it all up and i got upset <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. I'm really curious where I'm going to get that extra 10 to lithium. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been able to build anything that's level 40 in my base because it's just re a ridiculous amount of parse steel. It's 5.9 billion, and I have, I want to say to 2.4 billion in tokens what do you mean divemon about the mining the mine the data mining nodes well that's pretty good that was a pretty good pull. I got Scotty. Actually, I I like I like the change they made with the data mining. I think it it actually works pretty well. I don't mind sitting there and moving it. I actually wish the mycelium mine that fast and my tier eight disco can't pull it off that fast that that is really tedious I'm still really curious where this where this tend to lithium is going to come from. Sorry, I like a warp range of two right now. What is it? <laughs> warp three. <laughs> I ain't going much further. Let's just take a look at this and see how far I can go. I can't even get to Rise yet. <laughs> Let's see if I can switch. Confirm. Oh, do I have to explore them first? I think I might have to. The research projects would give me the dilithium I need. That's true. Let's see. There's one. 
Man, they're really stingy with dilithium in the beginning. Whew. Well, probably going to go for those Explorer parts. Being a free-to-play player, the parse deal should be easier to get. Um, and so I won't have to spend my, my very few amounts of Latinum on getting Explorer parts. So I'll probably go for that. I gotta, I gotta remember that uh, <laughs> I can't just spend Latinum like crazy like I do on my main account. I just spend it on everything I can. Actually, let me go back and quickly repair before I take off. And let's see. So I'm not going to put any XP into Scotty yet. That might be a mission coming up. However, I will put him on the ship. Now, I have a warp of four. <laughs> and for... For anyone who's new that's playing, when you see that little yellow exclamation icon with the system name or the planet name, that's telling you there's a new mission there that you could possibly pick up. I always try to pick them up so that you don't have to kind of keep track and, and learn where you're going to be um, going back to next. So this is, this is actually really important. So I would say in the beginning, both of these options are incredibly good for you cadet uhura she is a really good captain in the beginning of the game and even going into much further into the game she's a really good alternate npc crew but scotty is will definitely extend your warp range even more so let me take a look Tell the outpost that you're spying for the Klingons or lie about your intentions. I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for Scotty because of the warp range factor. It's a little bit more important for me right now. So I'm going to also see if I can pick up these missions. Anything for Dilithium. Donate 500 parts seal. I'll do that later. I'll probably go back and do that. Mine 250 parts seal. Oh, these parts seal mining missions. Hang on one second, guys. I have my system is bugged, so I'll be right back. All right, that was a little crazy. Dun, dun. 
probably go for another 20 minutes. I was actually thinking that we could go for, we can get to level nine tonight, but I'm not thinking that's going to be the case. So we do have a mission hitting level threes. And level ones, I believe. Daveman, I totally agree. Hey, is it Rhinus? Renus? I'm thinking I'm getting a, a, I'm seeing a lot of new names on the live stream tonight. And, uh, re, did I say Renus? Is that correct? <laughs> um, this must be like prime time for you guys. I'm going to have to remember to do another like 1 a.m. live stream again. All right, so I'm going to recall and get those shards of Scotty. Yeah, it's very early here. And oh, we got our we got our tw 24 hour chest, so we moved up to that pretty quickly. And I'm going to save the recruit pack because I don't know if that's going to be another mission or not. So I'm going to leave that there. So on a, on a sidebar, Sionica, read up on that ship and sto it literally has five guns in the front of it and one gun behind it it's ridiculous so cyanic and i we both play uh star trek online and we've been having a lot of fun with this month's arc yeah it's it's a it's a very good start trek game Okay, let me take a look. Look, see here. Upgrade the Rialta to tier three. Just started to work in my home office, so some kind of prime time for me. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're able to catch it, Mark. So I'm going to upgrade this, and let's see what it's going to take. So I'm glad I got those Explorer parts. They're turning out to be really effective because I don't have to spend the Latinum. <laughs> Renus, my Jansen is something I like I come up and I think of these like just random names and Jansen was actually this boy I had a crush on in college and I just always liked that name but it's a it's a raider and it's got a and it's got a battle cloak, so I think it's going to make it a lot different. The maneuverability is going to make up for only having one gun behind. I'm guessing. Okay, so let's see here. We only got three to lithium so far. Oof, that is rough. Okay. Oh. Defeat level one hostiles. There we go. So I think somebody was talking about this and I couldn't figure out because they're like, I can't, I can't warp there. I can't get there and get it done. 
And this was a really, I'm glad we were able to capture this in this live stream because it's going to be really important. So you can just basically rewatch this and go back um, and kind of see how I'm, how I structured the missions. Make sure you don't really do anything ahead of time. Make sure you let the missions guide you through it because it's literally going to give me 31 dilithium when I do this mission. And you need 30 and there's really no part in the game where I can get it. I don't even have a miner yet to collect a lithium with, and I would hate to mine a lithium with the Rialta. Build the Orion Corvette. Let's see if we can build that. I don't think we can. No. Shipyard level five. So we are giving it about three more minutes and I am like literally violating all of what I would normally do. I would normally just speed through this and I'm purposely not going to speed through it. I think a lot of this stuff with the free to play is going to be just setting your tablet down and coming back to it, playing another video game and really just letting it work itself through. Renus, I speed through like all, I, I used to, I don't anymore at level 40 because there's no point because I can't build anything. But I used to speed through like everything super fast. I'm way too impatient. All right, so we want to get our real or Corvette. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these. Let's see what's going on the server. I've been UPC attacked twice so far, but 99% of my gameplay is jacking other people's cargo. So I guess there's some angry people out there or something. Well, yeah, I mean, if <laughs> if you hit other people, <laughs> they're going to come after you. That's just, I mean, and, and if you don't hit other people, they're still going to come after you. <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> That's right, Renus. My miner got killed again. SMH. <laughs> So this server is is brand new. They're going to learn eventually all about Diplo. And I definitely want to find a server that has gone through those growing pains because I've gone through them on server 12 and I've gone through them on server 32. And uh, it's not cute. It's not fun, especially in server 32. Th those those boys and girls are vicious. Um, server 12, it, I mean, everyone is, is pretty, pretty chill now, but they never used to be. All right, we're almost done. Yay. All right, so that's done. And I'm not spending any ship XP on the Rialta here. <laughs> That's right, Sionica. All right. So we got that. And we got some shards of Cadet Sulu, who we will never use after this. All right. We need to hit some level twos. One thing I do love about the Rialta, and I and I will honestly say you will probably use the Rialta past level 40. Um, because you can do we stupid, stupid stuff with it. Nothing like 
game breaking, but um, you can de definitely screw with people, especially in territory defense and run them around a system with it. That's crazy. We still don't have one. Our 40, our level 46 player finally went up to level 49. We think he's gonna he's gonna try to get his uh his enterprise A, which I think for the longest time he was like, what's the point? Because he was the top level player. All right, so more explorer parts. I'm definitely gonna be focusing on the more ship parts because that's definitely gonna save me some money. Or it's gonna save me some time, I should say. Level one hostels. Oh, the combat training. Oh my God, I miss those. They're so good for Dilithium. And as a free-to-play player, I am going to pray to those things for saving me on Dilithium. Yeah, this is my my second account, Renus. I uh, I have a, a level forty account on uh, server thirty-two. I think. Oh, yep, I'm done there. And we're done with that building. I don't want to spend too much far too quickly. Considering I need it to repair. Well, the one the one I had on server 32, Sionica, it kind of got lost. I mean, I can't get access to it. So yeah, if you want to be technical, it's my third one. Yeah, it's gone. Which kind of sucks because I actually put some spending into that account. Renus, how long have you been playing? Because most people in uh, in Europe have been playing a lot longer than than those of us in the U.S. Two years. It's about the same time I've been playing. Uh, well, I'll go for the more crew XP. Yeah, I was, I was spending like crazy and, um, I mean, I don't know if you see my my previous video where I talked about I'm going on a on a spending ban because it was it was really ridiculous. Yeah, I've heard of that. I've heard of people spending ridiculous amounts of money on this game, and I'm like, why go play Star Trek Online for the love of God? Please just go play Star Trek Online. It is ten times the game at about what. A tenth of the cost. I 
the battle pass, the twenty dollar battle pass, I will honestly say is worth it. I got really, I felt really hosed on the tickets. The ticketed events we were given in in the last arc were really good, and this arc they were just absolutely garbage. Okay, promote an officer to lieutenant junior grade. R&D level four. Defeat three hostiles of level two or higher. Come on. There we go. So mine for 100 titanium and build the Corvettes. So I wonder... First of all, I wonder where I can find some Tritanium. because <laughs> i can go ahead and do some buildings but i'm running really low on that that part steel to get my corvette yeah dave dave Mon, it's um i love it i think it's such a fun game it is like to the to the heart and soul of star trek it is there's just so much to it so much you can you can do for free yeah if you if anybody play, plays on uh ps4 sionica and i play uh star trek online all the time on ps4 that is the the one downside to star trek online is that it is not cross-platform and so that's when it can get a little unfortunate Sionica, can you do me a favor and can you can you tell me what system around here is Tritanium? Because I am just striking out. Yeah, Damon, um, it, you know, what it is for me is it's just, one thing about the game is it's just the writing. The writing in Star Trek Online, the stories, and they have the voice actors that are from the Star Trek series in their voice, their parts, and they have like every ship ever thought or created. They wrap up stories that were never really resolved in the series. Um, it's just that part is like for me is a is a big geek thing. I love seeing the stories being wrapped up, like uh, yesterday's Enterprise. Like, what happened to Tasha at the Romulan concentration camp? Um, Star Trek Online takes that story and uh, and tells us their image of, or their, you know, their thought of what happened to her at that concentration camp. So it's just, it's just like really cool like that. Or like the Tox Youth at, or the... Um, the person that Enterprise found in the time ship, who was that and how it tied to the next generation. (laughs) 
Daveman, that's a it's a really good investment. I I am lucky that I inherit uh, gaming PCs for my partner, so um, he's actually on the verge of like wanting to buy a new one, and I'm trying to encourage him so I can get his computer because his computers are very good. <laughs> um, in fact, my the the computer I have that I do all my streams on um, that I don't do mobile um, are done on that computer. But I'm, I'm incredibly spoiled and I'm, I'm very well aware of that. Yeah, so I, he um he actually uh he has his masters in um it's computer something. Um like he teaches technology um as as his job, as his corporate career, and then he also teaches at the local community college to the students. Um some basic computer classes of how to build a PC. And, uh, and then he pretends like he doesn't know how to build a PC when I ask him to. Okay, so maybe I have to go further out. Yeah, I know, right? I'm like, I know you know how to do this. Like, I had a networking networking problem, I, and I literally said, hey, I'm going to ask you a question, and whatever you say, you can't say you don't know, because I know you do. <sighs> Yeah, it's true. That's exactly his thought. <laughs> Renus, that's that's rough. Grinding with a bordis. Oh. Grant I I I get frustrated when I grind with my Sally. And yeah, I still use it at level 40. I love my Saladin. I don't even have it maxed it. So, all right. Well, it's literally nowhere around here. Oh, just a whole bunch of parcel. Actually, let me try this system. That's a level nine. Maybe it might be in there. Wait, is this, am I seeing this correctly? Have they seriously not gone into territory space here? That is so crazy. That's really weird. Or what level? Oh, that's really strange. That no one's in territory space. Twenty-five. So that makes sense because the top player here is um, twenty-four. Yeah, so this is like a baby, baby, baby server. Oh. 
y'all on my minds. I found it. <laughs> take take out your frustration with 32 on uh, on this one. <laughs> oh man, that's that's harsh. I don't know if I'm going to do this one. Mine for 100 titanium cuz that's going to take like I think it's going to take like 20 minutes. So at least I know where to go now. And uh, and hopefully this helps you guys, um, whoever's starting off new and watching this video. Uh, Volta is the system you want to go to, which is right there. Volta is right here, right below the stupid board cube. All right, and I got to do that training. Right. That's why I try to position it right under right under the big old board cube. And I'm glad I just checked the other server I'm on cuz my shields were down. And for me it is 2:10 am so what i think i'm gonna try to do with this account is not really play it um at least in the beginning and just do live streams of it just to give players kind of an idea of a roadmap to start off with and if you want to follow what i did you can do that if you don't want to follow what I did, definitely feel free to tell me to SCFU. Um, but at least this way, it'll help you a little bit. I do see why some people were getting stuck. There were some things that were really weird. And so hopefully I, I tried to explain those as best as possible for a lot of the newer players. But other than that, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the live stream tonight. I enjoyed having you with me. I I really, I honestly, I'm really liking this whole 1 a.m. live stream situation with people from outside of the United States. So um, I'm really glad that, you know, you joined us. Um, there is a Discord link down in the description if you want to join us in the community where we talk about everything with Star Trek Fleet Command and a whole bunch of gaming and, and gaming news and, and things like that and try to keep a, a conversation going there and try to uh, put together a, a gaming community for everyone. But um, other than that, and Sionica said maybe I should do it a schedule thing, and, and maybe I should. Um, I hate doing schedules, though, so I I probably would do a schedule thing and then, like, like flake out on it, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> so we, we might do a schedule. I'll see how it goes. Um but I do kind of want to do these really late night for me, um, early morning or perfect time for you guys in other parts of the world. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, click that like button if you liked it, dislike if you hated it. Uh, click that subscribe for future notifications and future videos and take care of everyone out there. Thank you so much.